Next presentation, Igor Fisenko, small open reading frame in plants, trends in evolution and peptide coding capacity, please. Thank you. This is my prison. Thank you. Um, first of all, I'd like to, um, to thank the organizing committee for this opportunity. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm going to present uh, our results concerning the study of small open reading frames in plant genomes. Uh, what is uh, small open reading frames? What the difference between open reading frames, which are translatable into proteins, and uh, short, small open reading frames. Short open reading frames have a size from 10 to 100 codons and encode peptides. Gene annotation algorithms are appeared to be not suited for dealing with uh, SRF, with uh, short open reading frames, and they're generally arbitrarily uh, excluded from protein annotation. Uh, the functions uh, of uh, SRF encoded peptides are generally unknown, but uh, recent, work, uh, recent works have shown that they play fundamental roles in a diverse range of uh, cellular processes. Uh, it looks like a hidden regulatory level in cell. Uh, SRFs are a common feature of all genome, uh, genomes, and millions of SRF sequences can be found in uh, eukaryotic genomes, thousands of them uh, when, uh, have been mapped to transcripts, including non-coding transcripts. And um, uh, according to the latest review, intergenic uh, short open reading frames uh, have a median size uh, is about 23 codons, and it closely fits that is expected by chance. Uh, SRFs uh, can be found on different types of transcripts, including mRNA uh, within 5' prime or 3' prime uh, untranslated region of uh, known protein coding genes. Uh, they can overlap with uh, protein, coding se protein coding sequences, and uh, this SRF either frame shifted from uh, generally longer ORF or overlapped it. Uh, also, mm, uh, Mm, it's well known that uh, intergenic regions of eukaryotic genomes are actively transcribed, transcribed and um, uh, these transcripts, including long encoding RNA, uh, contains, uh, contain a lot of um, uh, short open reading frames that could potentially can be translated into peptides. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, peptides which encoded by SRFs can play an important role in cell, uh, but um, only a few SRF encoded peptides, plant SRF encoded uh, peptides, uh, have been characterized to date, and um, we know very little about these peptides, and uh, um, our knowledge about SRF evolution, translation, and function of uh, corresponding peptides should be expanded. Um, in our study, we try to answer some uh, uh, biological questions about SRF evolution, about their origin, about function, uh, function of peptides encoded by SRFs. And uh, for this work, we have chosen uh, the small plant, uh, uh, MOS viscometrola patents. Uh, MOS is a model object of modern uh, plant biology, and uh, Mm, it has some uh, unique features uh, which are suitable for this work. Uh, we developed uh, an integrated, integrated uh, pipeline which included um, transcriptomic, proteomic, and peptidomic data. And first of all, we uh, predict SRF in most genome, then we classified 
these ORFs uh, based on their location on transcripts. Uh, we estimate their coding potential, sequence conservation, and so on. And to reveal biological functions uh, of uh, peptide encoded by SRFs, we used overexpression, knockout SRF sequences, um, and some other techniques. Uh, first of all, we predicted um, SRFs in most genome, and um, uh, for this we used uh, a bioinformatic tool, SRF Finder, uh, which allows to identify. Um, SRFs with high coding potential. Um, this is a single. Uh, this are single exonic SRFs. Uh, they start uh, with uh, AUG codon and have a size um, uh, less than uh, 100 uh, codons. And uh, using this approach, we identified approximately. Uh, 600,000 SRF with high, high coding potential uh, in all regions of most genome. Of them, uh, about uh, 70,000 were located on annotated transcripts. The length of uh, the selected SRFs varied from 11 to uh, 100 uh, codons. Uh, then we classified uh, this SRF. We offered the uh, following classification upstream ORF, which located um, in untranslated regions, which located in um, five uh, prime leader sequences, downstream SRF, uh, which located in um, five trailer sequences of mRNA, uh, CDS SRFs, um, which overlapped with protein coding sequences, interlaced uh, SRF, overlapping with both um, protein coding sequences and uh, untranslated regions, and intergenic uh, and long encoding RNA SRFs, which, lo which located on annotated transcripts uh, on uh, long encoding RNAs. Uh, and then um, it's widely accepted that uh, evolutionary conservation is a strong indicator uh, for functionality, and uh, we have chosen. 10 uh, plant species um, to find um, conservative SRF. And uh, using this uh, approach, we identified uh, about uh, 5,000 5, conserved SRF. And um, uh, the number of conservative SRF was significantly smaller than in a negative control set, which consists of uh, fragments, exonic fragments. Uh, random, uh, randomly generated exonic fragments. Uh, it's interesting to note that um, uh, we observed uh, a depletion of um, upstream and downstream uh, SRF in, clo uh, in closed species and uh, um, in uh, more distant species. Uh, we see that um, mm, depletion of uh, uh, CDS SRF uh, occurred. Uh, to uh, reveal uh, large scale trends in uh, SRF evolution, uh, we then calculated um, the ratio between the, between the number of non synonymous substitution to the number of uh, synonymous substitution. Uh, and um, uh, we found out that most conservative CDS SRF. Uh, are under positive selection. In contrast, most uh, conservative SRF sequences from other group uh, of SRF are under negative selection. Uh, it's an uh, interesting point. Uh, it's likely that um, uh, CDS SRF uh, are depleted from genome, uh, but we don't know why. Uh, then we um, uh, verified translation of um, SORF. Uh, uh, for this, we used a mass spectrometry approach and um, uh, taking in, into account the shortage of proto uh, standard proteomic uh, pipeline, we use uh, two data sets. Uh, peptidomic data set, which consists of endogenous peptides extracted from free type of MOS cells, gametophores, protonema, and protoplast, and uh, proteomic data set, uh, which consists from samples uh, 
um, generated by standard proteomic approaches and uh, uh, using uh, mass spectrometry analysis, we can third translation uh, of about uh, 600 SRFs. And um, it's interesting to know that uh, 82 from uh, 330 translatable CDS SRF were expressed together with proteins uh, located on the same transcripts according uh, to our mass spectrometry data. Uh, we have found that translation of SRF occur in a tissue-specific manner. Uh, you can see on this slide uh, these results. Mm, on these heat maps, you can see the tissue-specific uh, translation. Mm, um, about 3% uh, of SRFs were identified in all types of MOS cell. And um, mm, it's interesting results. And um, um, maybe it uh, connects to the regulatory uh, function of this peptide. Uh, we don't know it. Uh, third, I'd like to tell you about uh, our efforts in predicting of um, SRF functions and uh, give an example for one of peptide encoded by London coding RNA um, where we used uh, our approach to reveal uh, biological functions. Um, uh, how SRF can regulate protein-protein interaction? Uh, we hypothesized that uh, SRF can be generated but alternative splicing and uh, they can um, harbor of uh, part of proteins and um, such competitive inhibitors of protein-protein interactions uh, were earlier identified and uh, uh, they were referred to as uh, microproteins or small interferon proteins uh, and we suggest that um, such SRFs, uh, which uh, play these functions, can continuously be generated in, uh, in genome by alternative splicing. And they found uh, 363 SRFs resulted from alternative splicing events and partially overlapped with the protein coding uh, ORF. Uh, it's interesting that uh, the genes contain such SRF uh, when reached with kinase and kinase-like domains and uh, um, geo-enrichment analysis showed that uh, term uh, connected to protein modifications were other represented among these uh, genes. Uh, here you can see the example of such SRF. Mm, you can see the sequences of uh, peptide encoded by short open reading frames. You can see the mm, sequences of all protein. And uh, here uh, we showed the peptide which uh, was identified by mass spectrometry analysis. Um, uh, moreover, uh, besides generating of small interferon peptides, uh, alternative splicing can promote the regulation, uh, the excision uh, of SRFs from transcriptome, and uh, we, we found uh, such examples. Uh, now you can see um, uh, these genes um, generates uh, two isoforms. One isoforms um, SRF, SRFs located uh, on the one of uh, two isoforms, and uh, mm, we used uh, reverse transcription PCR to, mm, to confirm uh, the transcription uh, of SRF containing isoforms, and uh, we found out that um, this transcription can be tissue specific. Um, probably we don't rule out that uh, alternative splicing. Uh, can regulate uh, the SRF lens landscape in transcriptome and those uh, regulate uh, their translation. Uh, of course, um, it's important to reveal bi biological functions of peptides and um, um, the analysis of SRF functions is a challenging task and uh, uh, they offer it the following scheme. Uh, which include, includes um, overexpression of peptides in cell, knockout of SRF sequences from genome using CRISPR-Cas10, uh, 
uh, CRISPR-Cas9 uh, technology, analysis of interacting partners, and um, uh, analysis of morphological changes, and, and so on. And I'd like to show you um, the results uh, of our experiments uh, concerning the one of peptides. Uh, this is uh, this peptide encoded by long encoding RNAs, and uh, we identified uh, this is a conservative uh, SRFs, a translatable conservative SRFs, uh, and uh, we used uh, uh, this pipeline to to analyze the functions of uh, peptides encoded by long encoding RNAs. And uh, you can see the results. We created overexpressed lines using uh, genetic construction uh, with uh, constitutive promoter. And uh, using CRISPR-Cas9 uh, technology, we obtained uh, knockout uh, lines, mutant lines. And um, uh, first of all, we analyzed the morphological uh, changes. Uh, it turned out that um, peptide overexpression uh, leads to um, to an increase of uh, growth most colony uh, and um, when we knock out this sequence uh, we observed that um, the speed of growth uh, was smaller for knockout in mutant lines uh, so we can conclude that um, peptides encoded by SRFs can really uh, impact on uh, growth, plant growth, and I it's really interesting. Uh, of course, uh, analysis of morphological changes um, can give you a, a mechanism of uh, peptide actions, and uh, in this case, we offer to use um, analysis of uh, protein partners, and uh, for that, for this, uh, we. Um, transla transiently expressed uh, CRF encoded peptides fused with uh, FLECTEC in uh, MOS cell. Uh, then we um, performed uh, immunoprecipitation analysis and MS analysis. And for these peptides, it it's interesting, we uh, found uh, some interesting protein part partners, for example, uh, RAP small GTFS like proteins. Okay. <laughs> Uh, some conclusions. Um, most uh, SRF, including translatable ones, uh, are not widely conserved. Alternative splicing influence uh, uh, SRF landscape. Um, and uh, because I, didn't, I don't have enough time, uh, some, um, a few words about functions. We proposed uh, that functions of SRFs depends on uh, their location on transcripts. Uh, upstream uh, URFs um, probably regulates, uh, regulate um, the translation of main URF, CDSS URF, um, participate in protein-protein interactions, long encoding uh, RNAs uh, produced, uh, produce peptides which um, participate in uh, signaling, maybe antimicrobial uh, activity and, and so on. Thank you for your attention, and I'd like to thank my colleagues for help with this work. Thank you, and I have one question uh, about your experiment with uh, CRISP CASP nine. Yes. Uh, uh, what maybe the effect uh, based on? RNA expression, non-coding RNA, not protein. Yes, yes. Uh, it's not direct. Uh, we thought about it, of course. Uh, but uh, using CRISP-Cas, we changed only a small portion of uh, coding sequences. And uh, if uh, it depends... Oh, on only small portion. Only small it's portion. It's not uh, A few nuclei nucleotides. O only yes, peptides. Yes. Thank you. Maybe more question. Thank you. Thank you.